Located about 55 miles southeast of Phoenix, Arizona, stand the enigmatic Casa Grande ruins. Built in the mid-14th century by the ancestral Sonoran Desert people, these ruins are the remains of an ancient village that consisted of a large four-story structure and at least seven residential compounds. This ancient structure, first referred to as Casa Grande, or Great House, by a Spanish missionary when he discovered it in the late 1600s, is shrouded in mystery. What was its purpose? What happened to the people who built it? The ancestral Sonoran desert people who once lived here transitioned from hunter-gatherers to farmers by redirecting the nearby Gila River. Through an extensive network of irrigation canals, they transformed the arid landscape into a fertile resource. This primitive series of ditches was the largest and most complex of all prehistoric canal systems in North America. As a result of their ingenuity in harnessing the river, this society began to flourish and grew to an estimated population of about 2,000 people at its peak. They constructed a community of dwellings in the towering four-story structure from Caliche, a natural concrete-like substance made of sand, clay, and calcium carbonate. Casa Grande stands at approximately 35 feet tall, with walls reaching a thickness of four feet at their base. This impressive structure measures about 60 feet in length and 40 feet in width. The entrances and windows were meticulously designed to optimize ventilation and light, showcasing the people's sophisticated architectural skills. But what purpose did this structure serve? While the exact function of Casa Grande is still a topic of research and debate, several plausible purposes have been proposed. It might have served as an administrative center for the surrounding settlements, where leaders managed resources and regional affairs. Given its strategic location within the extensive canal network, Casa Grande could have been a hub for trade and storage, safeguarding agricultural produce, tools, and other goods. Though less likely, some parts of the structure may have served as a palace that housed elite members of society or priests. The multifunctional nature of Casa Grande reflects the resourcefulness and ingenuity of the ancestral Sonoran desert people. However, around 1450, about 100 years after the completion of Casa Grande, residents began leaving this thriving village. But why? Why would a prosperous society, which had successfully tamed the harsh desert, suddenly leave? The abandonment of Casa Grande and its surrounding village remains a mystery. However, several plausible reasons have been suggested by archaeologists. Environmental factors such as prolonged droughts and flooding could have severely impacted their agricultural systems, heavily reliant on the irrigation canals. These stresses might have led to food shortages and reduced the ability to sustain large populations. Additionally, social and political upheaval within the society could have played a role. Increased conflict or competition over dwindling resources might have destabilized the community. Or external pressures from neighboring tribes or changes in trade networks could have further influenced their decision to leave. Collectively, these factors likely created a scenario where the inhabitants found it increasingly difficult to maintain their settlements, leading to the eventual abandonment of Casa Grande and the inhabitants dispersed into smaller populations. Arizona's four O'odham tribes and two Pueblo tribes, the Hopi and Zuni, trace their ancestry back to Casa Grande. To this day, archaeologists ponder Casa Grande's purpose and the reasons for its abandonment. However, its ruins stand as a reminder of the ancestral Sonoran Desert people's resilience and ingenuity in taming the harsh desert and is considered sacred by their descendants.